Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am drunk. Which is probably the reason that I am playing Ride 'em Low, which is a game about the American lowrider scene made by a Polish developer. Mm hmm. Did a little bit of reading about this one on the internet. Doesn't sound like we are in for much in terms of actual good gameplay, but you know, we'll give it a chance. I am inebriated, so that might help to soften the blow of an otherwise subpar game. I guess I picked this up in an Indie Royale. I'm not really sure how exactly this came to be in my possession or in my collection, uh, but let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, quick start, sure. Let's just quick start. See what we're in for here. Some hot low rider action. Okay, yeah. All right. Looking good. Yeah, what is it? A Cadillac? I'll take it. Oh, it's a DeVille. You can tell from the tag there. All right. Okay, so oh, got him off the line. All right, and we are away. So this is a race? I don't... I don't know. I'm... I'm definitely going straight. It doesn't look like this is curving. Uh, it, okay, is that a finish line there? I, okay, yeah, I, oh, I, was that a quarter mile? I don't know. Uh, okay, well, I won. Yay, I held down the up arrow. Uh, I did read enough to know that this game does not support controllers. Uh, you go to the options menu and you look at controller and it's a, oh, look at this. That's your controller right there. You like it. It's the keyboard. And we've crashed. We have crashed. All right. That is very interesting. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Let's get this thing back up and running, shall we? All right. We're back. And we have learned a very valuable lesson in terms of uh, ride em Lowe's quirkiness. And that is absolutely never go to the options menu. Uh, in fact, don't even mouse over the options menu. You're tempting fate. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let's... Uh, Let's move on here. Quick Start also dumped us into a race where we did nothing but drive straight. So uh, I guess we're gonna try career at this point. I'm sure this will be a great simulation of the low riding lifestyle. So let's uh, jump right in and uh, let's, uh, let's get things underway. There we go. Appropriate name if I do say so myself. Uh, all right, well, this is the second game I've played this evening that has a simulated iPhone in it. Uh, all right, so uh, from our buddy, Buddy. Welcome to your garage, yada, yada, yada. Uh, first, you have to buy a car. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, lots of standing water in this garage. I wonder was, if that was there when I leased this. I probably should have had the owner clear that up before I moved in. Right, to the car dealership. Let's us purchase a car. Uh, not sure how much money I have or from where I got it, although I'm, I'm positive that it was probably through completely legitimate means, certainly. All right, 84 caddy, how much money? Oh, $14,000. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I, I definitely got that through legitimate means. Uh, 54 cabby, a 1980 casino, and wow, 66 and a half thousand uh, dollars that car is pretty well equipped though <laughs> judging just from the power and the torque compared to this one uh, this one might actually be the second best and, and I can afford it uh, I guess I won't be able to do too much to it if there's even customization I mean, there's got to be right you got to be able to like paint it and put gaudy gold spoke rims on it and stuff like that I mean that's got to be a thing so let's go ahead and purchase that head over into our garage, uh, just remember to come back, uh, check out the city, yada yada. All right, a bunch of stuff here, lots of options. What do we got? Uh, car dealer, test drive, city map, 
mods. All right, I'm gonna head to mods over here. Uh, paint color rims, special, you know, important stuff. I wanna, I wanna stick to the important stuff like paint color and rims, eh, engine header, exhaust, gearbox, whatever. Oh, hydraulics. Uh, we only have 500 bucks. Cannot afford any hydraulics. Oh man. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to get that out there on the street and earn it, right? So. Uh, what can we do? We can we can paint our car, I think. Total is zero, so let's uh, let's paint this thing Big Dave is cheap green. That's pretty good. Pr close approximation. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Well, uh, that was free. I guess paint is free apparently. Uh, and then what do we have here? Uh, test drive, performance test. Sure, why not? I have no idea what I'm doing, so that sounds as reasonable as anything else. All right, we are driving towards something. Uh, oh, it, it looks like the same straight track that I was on before. Uh, all right, well, let's drive straight. Uh, yeah, still haven't turned in this game yet. Uh, looking forward to the opportunity to turn left or right at some point in the near future, hopefully near future. All right, so zero to 60 in 16 seconds. I'm sure, I don't know. I, I'm not a car person. I don't know. Is that good or bad? I'm not sure. Uh, are we even going to get to 93? At this at this pace, we can't even go back in time. Uh, yeah, no, we're not going to make it. There we go. 78 miles an hour is our top speed, apparently. Yeah. Hmm. All right, well, uh, back to the garage, I suppose. And let's figure out exactly what else we can do. Uh, yeah, well, we can city map. All right, so let's see, uh, city route, long, straight. We know about long and straight. Uh, race modes, okay, a couple different race modes. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, okay, beyond the city limits, mountain scenery, sure. A couple of races there, uh, the big lock, so I'm going to assume that means that's locked. And a very complicated looking racetrack right there. Uh, oh, uh oh, low rider competition, dance, hop, and freestyle hydraulics required. Oh, I might invest some time into this game just to get hydraulics. Uh, we have driven straight. We've been there, done that. So let's go to a place where we get the opportunity to actually maybe turn a little bit. Hmm. I don't want to get too excited. I think I might be able to actually turn left or right at some point here in the uh, very near future. Oh, it's an El Camino. Uh, so I am placed 67, he is placed 66. I guess that means something. Uh, ranking slash call out opponent. Oh, he was calling me. Okay, I'm, he called me out and I said no, I guess. Through my inaction. Um, hey, come back. I'm calling you out. It's an awful lot of squealing tires back there. Is somebody doing donuts? All right, here we go. Uh, sure, let's race. Uh, I've got a hundred. I got what? Five hundred bucks. Uh, let's live dangerously. Let's do it. He has agreed. Uh, five thousand M A. I don't know what that means, but I am excited because I think I'm actually going to get to race right now. Five hundred bucks on the line. All the money I have in the world. We are essentially racing for pink slips here. If I lose this, I am pretty much done with my low riding career. Uh, yeah, and we're off. And he gets off the line a lot better than me, so not holding out a lot of hope here. And, uh, yeah, cruising at a steady 50 miles an hour, 48, 49, looking good, uh, not making any real headway here. It's, am I supposed to be shifting or something? I don't, I don't really know, but, uh, this is not looking good. I think I just saw my 500 bucks drive away in a cloud of smoke here. Uh, this is, I am just, this is a leisurely drive as far as I can, uh, far as I can tell, in this uh, excellent DeVille here, this fine-looking Cadillac automobile. A um, lot of excitement right now. I mean, I, I am uh, turning left and right, uh, you pu pushing the wheel, uh, 
in those directions and by the wheel I mean I'm using the 100% digital controls of my keyboard in order to uh, slowly uh, tap and adjust my, uh, my trajectory in a way that is not at all indicative of the way you would actually steer a car. Uh, and there's nobody around, there's no uh, crowd, no one cheering me on, I'm in a very bland ravine here, um, and my opponent is long since gone, uh, finishing the race minutes ago uh, as I attempt to uh, maybe break 70 miles an hour on a sort of straight part of the track here. Can we do it? I don't know. Let's see. Increasing in speed. Can we break 70 miles per hour? We did it for just a moment. You saw it. I saw it. There we go. 70 miles an hour. 71 even. And the speed is getting out of control right now. As we come into a tight turn. Getting loose. Getting loose in the back end. Definitely getting loose. Whoa. All right. Very loose. Very loose. And this is just... I am... Uh, this this the the simulation right now because I'm not just I'm not just feeling the excitement here but also you know I'm feeling what what uh, Chizzy Dizave is probably feeling right now which is the dread of knowing that I bet my last 500 bucks on this race and uh, for some reason I'm driving like a grandma um, but this will end eventually or God I hope it will uh, there's some kind of thing counting down some kind of thing counting up. Uh, distance, uh, 519 M's, all right, uh, miles, that's that miles, um, we're supposed to be in America, right, so that wouldn't be meters, unless you were a Polish developer who developed this game uh, for an American audience, and in which case you would use meters because you don't know any better. Uh, okay, that's counting down, all right, so, and there are the uh, familiar green flares of the finish line so uh, yeah there we go i i lost 500 bucks uh down the drain and that's it i'm i'm done i have uh, been retired uh by my competition i have to go home with my head between my legs i am uh, broke i'm poor i have to sell my deville in order to uh, simply feed my children uh, oh, a Buddy comes through with a 250 buck uh, loan there. Thank you very much, Buddy, but it does sadden me to say that I must announce my official retirement from the lowrider circuit at this point. It's, it's been a journey. It really has. I've enjoyed it. Uh, I've learned so much. I've grown. Uh, I have uh, really, really come to see the, uh, the virtues of the lowrider community, and I thank you all for embracing me uh, like a son. But uh, anyhow, I must bid you adieu. This is uh, your favorite lowrider. Writer Chizip Dizave signing off. And until next time, take it easy.